Welcome back to Breakfast Central on New Central. Thank you for joining us from wherever you are in the African continent and even uh, beyond. It's time for us to bring to you what has been trending on the social media space. We've got our blog, no doubt, Elizabeth Musa joins us. Good morning to you, Lizzie, and uh, what's the latest? Good morning, Lizzie. Very good morning to you, Joe and Oluchi. Now, we have something really interesting trending this morning. Now, a member of the House of Representatives who goes by the name Umar Muda has introduced a bill to prohibit cross-dressing in Nigeria. This bill was read on the floor of the House on Tuesday, which was yesterday, seeks to ban cross-dressing with the exemption of those using it for entertainment. We know that in recent times, some cross-dressers have become very popular in Nigeria, especially, especially the likes of Instagram entertainer Bob Risky. With this proposed law, cross-dressers now risk six months in prison if passed. This bill seeks to amend the Same-Sex Marriage Prohibition Act of 2013 by including cross-dressing as one of the offenses under the Act. Now, let's see how Nigerians are reacting to this particular story ever since it emerged yesterday. Now, that one is from Toby Fax. Toby Fax says, with all the problems facing this country, it's cross-dressing that the reps are discussing. And there she is crying. And we had more remarks, more. That one is from Tonya. Tonya says, cross-dressing... <laughs> Cross-dressing can't be federal government problem. Then mostly other important pending issues. James Brown don't already jack herself. That's because James Brown is out of the country at the moment. And we had more remarks. This one is for BTP Audio. BTP says, LOL, government steady preventing our generation from making money. Indeed, that is a, that's an angle. Now this one's from Wina. Wina says, they want us to be depressed in this country. These folks are entertaining. Because, you know, the truth is, somehow, somehow, it seems to be that these cross-dressers are doing this for the purpose of entertainment, Joe and Oluchi. But that's how Nigerians are reacting to this particular thing right now. But let's check out one particular comment that stuck out for me. That one is from Bob Risky himself, who is actually the king of cross-dressers. He says, the good thing about this bill is that, one, it will finally solve Nigeria's insecurity challenges. Two, it will improve power supply. Three, end acid strike. Four, repair the negative impression foreigners have about Nigeria. And five, cause the reduction of prices of items in the market. Of course, that is Bob Risky being absolutely sarcastic at the moment. He's highlighting the problems Nigeria is facing and talking about the fact that, you know what, these guys are not focusing on this problem, but instead they're focusing on them being cross-dressers. That is what is trending, John. I want to hear your takes on this. Mm, mm. No comments. So, so for me, cross-dressing has been, uh, um, I mean, has been in other, under, other countries banned. Saudi Arabia, for example, cross-dressing has been banned totally in Saudi Arabia. There are some African countries who are also considering this. But let's not forget that cross-dressing did not start today. It goes as far back as the 18th century, 1863. That was when the first cross-dressing was even identified and taken note of. So there are reasons, different countries have their reasons for putting a ban to it. But is this what we need right now is of... Oh, that's what big question at the character. Moment. But being the cross dressing itself and the law and the banning or prohibiting of it is not new. I mean, these are the first time. All right, so let me just play like a moral um, a ruler Advocate. right here, uh, <laughs> Elizabeth Anolucci. Well, uh, banning cross dressing, I think um, it's one thing that the lawmakers have actually been called attention to because the, the number at which everyone is starting to become a cross dresser is indeed alarming. Aside from seeing it in skits, which uh, is now acceptable because everyone is but involved in skits and so on, but still controversial. But now you're starting to see people who are coming out and uh, wanting to imitate those who are already doing that. So I think it's a cause for concern. But whichever way, uh, however way they, or whichever way they want to actually go at it, um, well, we'll just be here to see um, what will come out of it. It might be, uh, of, of course. Uh, I know the, fact, the one thing we need to know is that these cross-dressers, most of them are just, I think most of them are doing this to make money because somehow it calls attention to them. And like someone in the comment section says, the person said, you know what, these guys are entertaining because when you see James Brown, when you see the likes of Bob Risky, somehow, somehow they're always in the news for something. So I don't know if many of these people actually just want to be cross-dressers because they, they feel like dressing like ladies or because they want to just, you know, be no, in no, the limelight and, influencing too, and get, doing you that. know, also be an influencer, sort of, mentoring. yes. Yeah. I'd say influencing, not mentoring, though. Mm -hmm. no, of course because, not. Because, oh, because everyone, course. everyone is not a mentor. I mean, so I know there's a penalty for, for, for if, if this bill is passed into an, uh, if it's passed into law and it comes into fruition, there is a penalty for it, and it is either you spend six months in jail or you pay a fine of up to 500,000 naira. Mm. Mm. 
All we'll right. keep an eye on this story and see how it turns out at the end of the day. But let's take you to the story I talked about earlier this week. Af South African actor SK Koza, after being dragged and accused of, you know, his wife, or former wife, let me say, has been accused of bewitching the actor SK Koza. And, uh, you know, she said that she had nothing to do with all his actions which have been on which have been circulating, all those videos that have been circulating, she responded to social media bullies through a publicist, Simpiwe Majola. She said, and I quote, that she was not responsible for whatever is happening to Koza. All she did was put everything in the hands of her ancestors and God. She said she's not responsible for whatever he is going through and that she got tired after chasing after him to maintain his son. So she put everything in God and her ancestors' hands. But people are saying, you know what? Since she's, well, she's a traditional ill and all that stuff, she probably had something to do with this mental breakdown that seems to be happening at the moment. Meanwhile, SK quality of friends have been questioned at the moment, considering the fact that they are always there to capture his worst moment. There are some speculations that perhaps this might even be a movie trailer. But let's check out some of the comments that people are making about this particular one. That one's from Sizwe. Sizwe says, I find it funny that there's three videos of SK Koza at three different locations at the same day. Like, who was driving him to all these places to make a mockery of himself? And let me point out to you that not just three, there are actually four videos of him that circulated on that same day. So I'm wondering, who are these friends that will take you? They're actually capturing you in your down times. Now, this one is from Chris. Chris says, the fact that SK Koza's friends are always in the right place to capture him and post him at his lowest moment from drugs party that almost jeopardized his job and pictures of him showing, you know, it says when a G get back to his senses, it needs to check his circle. He's surrounded by snakes. And then we had more and more reactions on this particular story. We had one remark also, which, you know, was saying that I think people are more comfortable with SK Koza being bewitched by Gogo Maweni when in fact, in actual fact, SK has been a substance dependent human for the longest time. The guy has always been a mess, just that now he, just that he was employed then and clean. And we even but we had people that were, you know, still empathizing with with him and um, the situation. So that is the update mm. on SK Koza at the moment, Joe and Oluchi. All right. Well we we wish him um, speedy recovery. That, that's all I could say. That's if it's not a trailer. Well, 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 people will do anything for mm. the gram. That's another thing. Oh, Joe, would you do anything for the mm. gram? You're saying people. People, people oh, will oh, oh, do I'm, I'm sorry. anything you know, oh. for the gram. Oh, it's Joe just a statement. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. It's just a statement. Uh -huh. Yeah, it depends on how you want to look at it. If you say, okay, did he say me? You're not involved. So, you, I mean, you don't follow under that. Well, that brings me to the end of my trade today, so Joe and all the team. Thank oh, you. Thank you.